Well, more than 13 hours after a major outage, Optus has only just confirmed that all services have now been restored and customers should be back online. Let's bring in tech expert Trevor Long. Uh, Trevor, this has been a big day for you as well covering this. Thank you so much for your time. What actually happened? Optus hasn't really told us. That's the biggest problem, Sherry. The, uh, the Optus announcements, every release they've made, tells us nothing about what happened. It tells us they're sorry, but it doesn't tell us what has happened. And what that causes is massive speculation. There's speculation of power outages. There's speculation of, of upgrades to equipment that went wrong. There's speculations of a simple equipment failure. We don't know. And so for every hour that Optus fails to give us some indication of what happened, we're just going to speculate more, and that's bad for Optus. Look, you've said today that this is the biggest telecommunications outage in Australian history. This is clearly major, 10.2 million people affected. Optus seemed to try and downplay it today. Wouldn't it have been a better approach to just reflect the frustration that businesses, that families, that hospitals, that transport networks were feeling and facing? Spot on. They, they absolutely missed the mark here and they should have learned from the data, data breach last year. They needed to come out early. They needed to be sorry. They needed to talk openly to the public and not hide not hide for seven or eight hours like they did. So, unfortunately, that lack of communication with their customers is exactly what is upsetting customers now and literally driving them to other telcos. We've already seen people queuing up for other SIM cards. We've seen people go to online websites like Airtask and getting other people to bring them new SIM cards because they didn't have time. It's difficult to deal with not having any connectivity in your business, let alone your home. And I don't know how they recover from that because they handled it very badly. And what about compensation? Optus is going to have to surely compensate, particularly businesses, for the impact this morning. Let's remember they didn't compensate anyone over the data breach, over loss of data, because the CEO, Kelly bayer Rosmarin continued to say no one was actually affected, despite the fact that 10 million people's details were stolen. So a, a, a compensation here for businesses must be in the, in the line with the, the losses today. If you couldn't accept payments today other than cash, you lost money. So Optus needs to have some responsibility in that. But for the average user, I don't see you getting much more than, you know, a small discount on your monthly bill or perhaps a free data weekend or something like that, which is, it got precedent. Telstra did the same thing several years ago. They have to come out tomorrow with a public announcement for their customers as a measure of their sorrow. Mm, and all of this unfolded, of course, when the board of Optus happened to be in Australia. And the last time they were in Australia was September last year when that cyber hack happened. Trevor Long, thank you so much for your time.